Woman who went astray half a decade ago leaves detectives baffled when they find out her truth in 2017. Life is always so unpredictable. You'll never know what the next moment has in store for you. You can be extremely happy one minute and outrageously mad the next. Someone can be leading an absolutely wonderful life one moment and suddenly go missing the next moment away from their family, their relatives, everyone. No matter how hard you try, you'll never know where, why, and how they vanished until almost half a century passes by. And things take an unthinkable turn when you find out the truth behind the mystery of such lives. Florence Flora Stevens, born in 1939, had been living a happy life in Sullivan, or so it seemed. Nothing unusual had happened in her life until 1975, which changed everything for her and for everyone around her. Florence and her husband Robert Stevens had been married for 10 years when in 1975 the biggest tragedy of their life hit them. Florence was 36 years old and life seemed to be running pretty smoothly until one ominous day. On the 3rd of August 1975, Florence complained of feeling sick. Her husband took her to the hospital to get a checkup. He dropped her off at the hospital and told her he'd come back in an hour or so. Florence had said she might have caught a little cold and so she'd taken an appointment to get it checked. Her husband dropped her off and went to complete some unfinished errands. But when he came back to pick her up from the hospital, he was perplexed. When Robert reached the hospital, his wife wasn't there. They'd both decided he would come to pick her up in an hour, so where could she possibly have gone? He started to grow wary and asked the reception of the hospital about Florence. The receptionist told Robert that Florence had never even come inside. She was nowhere in sight. He waited for her for very long, hours after hours passed, but Florence was nowhere to be seen. Florence had been a very happy person who was always full of life. She loved everyone around her and was always smiling no matter what the situation. Where had she gone and why would she do that? Florence had been living a good life, one which anyone would be satisfied with. In the summer of 1975, she worked as a seasonal worker in the Concord and Catskills, sometimes as a waitress and sometimes as a chambermaid. Florence had a deep connection with the Concord where she worked not just in 1975, but also in 74 and 73. The place had a lavish 1,200-room set and was very famous among the travelers of the time. Was her missing case related to the Concord? When Robert failed in finding Florence despite trying his best, he informed and hired a team of detectives to find his lost wife. He wasn't even sure if she was okay or if something bad had happened. Years passed, but there was no clue about Florence's case, which was now known as the Sullivan County case. After a decade of the incident, even Robert passed away and there was no one to ask about Florence now, since the two had no family or relatives except themselves. The team of officials gave up on Florence's case. There was no clue that could at least give a vague idea about where she could be. Little did they know that this mystery would be solved only after half a century. 42 years passed and Florence Flora Stevens was forgotten, or was she? She was never declared dead and she was never declared as living either. Her mystery remained unaltered, but suddenly in 2017, strings were going to reconnect. Jan Solomon, a senior investigator in the New York State Police, called up the detective bureau in Sullivan County in the Catskills. Why? Had he found out Florence, or did he have at least some idea where she could be? When Solomon called the sheriff on the morning of September 15th in 2017, he told him that he'd found a female skeleton one county over Catskills, but was unable to make out whose body it was. Could it be Flora's? To find out whose skeleton it was, Solomon was going through the cases of missing people in the near regions, but it would have been impossible to find out the truth this way because nearly 70,000 women go missing in the US each year. Out of the 70,000 women that go missing on an average, many are returned or found. But during the time when Solomon found the skeleton, there were still 21,894 active cases. What was the possibility of it being Flora out of all of them? The Sullivan Sheriff opened up Florence's case and revived it. But the question was, how would they prove if it was even Flora or not? Because Florence had no alive relatives in 2017 on whom a DNA test could be performed. By this time, almost the whole of Sullivan County was following Flora's case. Everybody had so many questions. Was the woman alive? Was she dead? Was she murdered? Did she run away? There was one more clue that Rich Morgan, the Sullivan County Sheriff, had gained after he reopened Flora's case file. And this clue was going to bring a major turn in the journey of Florence's case. Morgan found out that someone had been using Florence's social security number, 237 miles away in Massachusetts. Was she alive? 
Or was it someone who had stolen her identity and was living under it? The detectives went to work since the case was getting very intrinsic now. They tracked down the place where Florence's social security number was being used. It was in Lowell, Boston that a person had been living with her number. The sheriff called up the place in Lowell which turned out to be a Care One assisted living facility. And when they asked to whom the social security number belonged, they were told it was a woman named Flora Harris, someone named Flora but not Stevens. What was even happening? Same first name, different last name, but the same birth date and social security, the detective told CBS Boston. This person named Flora Harris had been living in Lowell since 2001. Who was she? On October 24, 2017, Rich Morgan and his team decided to visit Lowell and solve the mystery once and for all. When they reached the facility, they understood at once what was going on and the decades-old mystery was about to be finally solved. There sat on a wheelchair a 78-year-old woman, hair falling to her shoulder with bright green eyes who could only speak a word or two maximum given her psychological problem. The woman suffered from dementia. Morgan was carrying a picture of Florence which he came across when he found her work ID. His last console was to show the picture to the 78-year-old woman and find some answers. You won't believe what happened next. She looked at the ID and her face lit up and she said, Me? Sullivan County Under Sheriff Eric Chibodi said when they showed the picture to the lady. She recognized it right away. Yes, it was Florence Flora Stevens, but why had she changed her name? The difficulty came in when the officials came to know that Florence had been suffering from dementia and didn't remember at all what her past was, so there were no answers. Florence had forgotten everything from the last 42 years, but when the sheriff showed her husband's photograph, she immediately replied with the name Robert. That's when everyone became sure that she was the same person who went missing 42 years back. What comes as the only conceivable explanation for her vanishing away is Florence's past. To be honest, I don't think she ever really wanted to be found, said Festus Mbuva, a former worker at the Boston area facility. You can tell something happened in her past that she didn't want any part of. Florence slightly remembers that her husband used to beat her and not treat her well. We really don't know the circumstances or why or how she disappeared. She had psychiatric problems leading up to that point too, the detective said. The sheriff dug a little deeper and found some medical records under the name of Flora Harris. Before being in Lowell, the medical records reveal that Florence had also been in New Hampshire and Roosevelt Hospital in New York City. By finding Flora Harris after 42 long years, the officials are more than elated that the case can finally be closed. When everybody had given up all hope of finding Florence or ever reopening the case to solve it, it all came out of the blue. It could have been possible that Florence must have run away from her husband by making an excuse to the appointment of the hospital. She'd just been paid, probably had a weekend full of tips in her pocket, said Sullivan County Sheriff's Detective Rich Morgan, who thinks she might have run away with the money. Festa Simbova noted she never gave up much about herself to anyone. Her favorite phrase was, none of your business, he said. And it seems that Florence really lived up to her favorite phrase and vanished without thinking about anyone. Even though Flora had been found and the Sullivan County case closed, some questions will always remain. Most of the secrets are locked inside of Flora, Morgan said, and I don't think we'll ever get them. The case of Sullivan County has been one of a kind, really. It's not too often that you get to solve a 42-year-old missing person case, Sherrick My Schiff said on a release. And even rarer when the mystery is solved but the questions still remain. It was thanks to technology that the case could be solved. It would have been impossible to connect the dots of a 42-year-old case otherwise. The techniques and databases that we now have, Morgan snapped his fingers, are so fast. We're able to narrow things down more quickly than we ever did before. Whenever you take a missing person's case, you always hope the outcome is positive, under Sheriff Chibodi said. And that's all that should matter in the case of Flora as well. No matter what the circumstances, she is at least alive and safe.